Shini, Neri Shesha Shinyawadi, Pasha Chade Shitarani. Today is the day we feel separation from Srila Prabhupada, our master. However, in separation, we can feel closer to Srila Prabhupada than ever before. Because today we're all remembering him. When devotees are intensely remembering Srila Prabhupada, then he's with us even more intensely. Today we beg for his mercy and that of the Vaishnavas to always remember Srila Prabhupada every moment of our day. It is by the desire of Prabhupada that we are here today. Prabhupada desired there, there be a temple in Vrindavan, and so it is here. When Prabhupada first arrived at Boston Harbor in Boston, he wrote a poem wherein he expressed his desire for us. First he begged Krishna to deliver us. He said, all living entities have come under the control of the illusory energy by your will. And therefore, if you like, by your will, they can also be delivered from the clutches of illusion. After that, Prabhupada expressed his own desire. Sri Prabhupada said, I wish that you may deliver them. So Krishna has to fulfill the desire of his pure devotee. So because Prabhupada desired that we all be delivered, then we're all here today because of the desire of Siddha Prabhupada. So why would Prabhupada want to save so many of us who, who he didn't even know us? I would like to share with you something I recently heard from a video of Brahmananda, where he explained to us why Prabhupada loves us so much. We have no qualification to be loved, but Prabhupada's love is causeless. His mercy is causeless. His empowerment is causeless, and his equal vision is causeless. Prabhupada did not see our bodily disqualification Mlechas, women, foreigners, black, white. He saw our soul underneath it all and our eternal relationship with Krishna. And he was always trying to link us with Krishna in Bhakti Yoga. As Srimad Bhagavatam says in the beginning, the pure souls hear Bhagavatam because it distinguishes truth from illusion. It is for the Paramonimat Saranam for the Paramahansas, who are like swans that take out the nectar from this world of illusion. Prabhupada is always looking within us for the spark of Krishna consciousness that he could fan into a flame of loving service to Krishna. He saw beyond our designations. That's why he loved us. He saw our connection to Krishna and accepted us as servants of Krishna. So today we can feel some solace from our separation from Prabhupada by hearing the wonderful ways that Prabhupada connected all of us with Krishna. Let us go on for the rest of our lives remembering Srila Prabhupada, how he connected us with Krishna, and in his mood let us try to connect the whole world in Krishna's service as servants of Krishna. I would like to share one last thing from one of my God sisters. Her name is Govardhana Dasi. She said, I'm no one special, but you don't have to be anyone special. You don't have to have seen Prabhupada or to have been initiated by him. If you love Prabhupada, he loves you. Hare Krishna. <laughs>